Election fever is spreading fast across St. Lucia. All eyes will be on the Viewfort South constituency on July 26, 2021, as the United Workers' Party UWP candidate for Viewfort South, Herman Gil Francis, attempts to unseat former Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony. The National Security Minister is confident that he will be victorious at the polls. Definitely, um, the six-time parliamentarian. He's gone. He's gone. Fifth-time parliamentarian. He's gone. Is he going to go down today? He's gone. He's gone. 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 That's the final day in the scuffle. Gone. Francis made the comments at a recent motorcade in the Larissus community. He disclosed that supporters claimed they ran into issues with followers of the opposing party prior to the motorcade. The UWP candidate is scheduled to unveil his plans for the community during public meetings this week. Well, I'm very optimistic. I'm sure you can see what is happening there. And you have to remember that every constituency is doing their individual motorcade. Okay? So I'm doing my individual motorcade today. Um, unfortunately, there were some operatives of the Sanusha Labour Party who threatened some of the drivers in La Rousseau that if they came down the motorcade that they would discipline them. But at the end of the day, we, we're persevering. And as you can see from the crowd, we're doing good. So, um, your plans for the constituency? Oh, there are several plans for the constituency. Education, sporting, housing, employment, everything is right there. So, in, in the weeks to come, you'll, not a week, but the week to come, you'll understand some of the things. On Tuesday, I'm having a meeting um, right here. And on Thursday, my big meeting will be at the square in Viewfort. Meanwhile, fifth term, Viewfort South MP Dr. Kenny Anthony took issue with the Alan Chastney administration's handling of cannabis reform. The government recently proposed the cannabis bill to govern the industry. Dr. Anthony claims the SLP is responsible for paving the way forward on cannabis legislation, alleging efforts were forestalled by the current administration. It was me who suggested to the CARICOM countries that they appoint a commission to look at the question of marijuana in the Caribbean. The heads of government agreed with me. And behind my back, they appointed my wife, Professor Rosemary Bell Antoine, to chair that commission. It is that commission that went around the Caribbean and advised the governments in the Caribbean they must change the legislation to deal with the issue of marijuana in the region. But you know what? Chastain, them are so vindictive. She went all over the Caribbean to speak to people in the Caribbean, to churches, to the youths in the ghettos, everywhere. But they refused to allow her to come to St. Lucia and address people and deal with the issues. Herman Gil Francis and his brother, Mayor Peterson Francis, were staunch supporters of the SLP but left the party in 2014. Francis had hoped to contest the ancillary cannery seat for the UWP at the 2016 general elections, but was defeated in a runoff by the eventual MP Dominic Fede. Joachim de Placy, HDS News Force.